Now, the effects of Sally are already being felt all along the Gulf Coast, including in South Mobile County. That area is expected to flood, and meteorologists are not ruling out a possible direct impact for residents living along the coast. Dolphin Island is what we're talking about. That's where we find WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown. Blake, when we get big storms like this, Dolphin Island usually feels it. They do, Cherish. You're absolutely right. You know, anytime a storm system impacts our area, Dolphin Island is one of the first communities to actually feel those effects of a tropical system. You're taking a live look right now at Mobile Bay, a very wicked Mobile Bay, and I know it probably doesn't look as uh, scary as it does here in person, but I'm telling you, it has churned up a lot this afternoon. I will tell you, as of now, the causeway leading onto Dolphin Island, that is still open. Uh, Mayor Collier letting us know earlier that it is the Alabama Department of Transportation who will ultimately make that call if they do decide to close the causeway at some point over the next couple of days. And I, I just have to tell you, I would imagine that's going to happen at some point overnight, if not sometime tomorrow morning. Now, take a look at some of this video shot earlier on Dolphin Island. Hurricane Sally, like you mentioned, already impacting places on the island where water, as expected, has already started covering Bienville Boulevard on the west end. Earlier today, Mayor Jeff Collier urging residents and visitors to evacuate the west end as Sally continues to strengthen in the Gulf. We already know it's at a category two right now. Again, you're looking at that video uh, shot late this afternoon of the Gulf of Mexico pushing lots of water beneath homes, and that's only expected to worsen over the next 24 hours as Hurricane Sally slows down and delivers more impacts here to our area. But again, I want to bring you back out here live right now to take a look at Mobile Bay. Again, very churned up. The good news right now, Cherish, the causeway has not been closed at this point. Again, that is expected to change as Hurricane Sally gets closer to shore. Yeah, I think Wicked is right, Blake. Are there still a lot of people on the island? Believe it or not, there actually are a lot of people on the island. There's a couple of businesses that are already boarded up. Both gas stations have closed. Uh, there are a lot of people, though, coming off the island right now, just in the last 30, 45 minutes or so. Uh, a lot of people bringing boats off the island, things like that. So I'd have to imagine a lot of people are rethinking their plans. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. Have you talked with anyone not planning to leave? I talked to a couple of people earlier uh, on the West End, believe it or not. They are actually planning to stay. They've lived here for a while and they've been through many storms. But uh, again, they're they're taking their chances, believe it or not. And I'm not quite sure that's the, that's the best thing to do right now. Okay, thank you, Blake Brown. They're on Dolphin Island. And